A graphic of the Perkins logo swoops across the screen, revealing a chapter heading. Supporting the Classroom Teacher. The initial job of the teacher that is impaired is to provide as much understanding for the regular classroom teacher about what life's going to be like with all of a sudden having a student who's a braille reader in your classroom. So to be able to share the information about how they're going to accomplish certain tasks and um, what kinds of adaptations are needed, what kinds of adaptations are not needed. When do you let the student do what they need to do on their own without, um, without any support? And the second thing is to look at the curriculum and how the teacher of visually impaired can support the regular classroom teacher in making sure that there are braille materials, both the actual textbook and workbook pages, but all kinds of things like flashcards and story cards and that kind of thing. In a photograph, a young boy who is blind sits at a classroom table with a teacher for the visually impaired. The boy is reading from a braille book. On the table between the teacher and the boy is a Perkins Brailler. In the background, we see the boy's classmates writing with pencils. We can also see a large pad of paper on an easel with the day's assignments written on it. The technology that the student will be using, and it varies at grade level, um, is another thing that can be disruptive to other kids. They all want to see what the new cool thing is. So um, figuring out a way together to um, share with the whole class this is how this is how Megan does this in our classroom, and um, this is the tools that she uses. Megan, will you share with um, them about how you, you know what is it that you do, um, how it is you use this piece of equipment, and what it does for you? In a science class, two students who are blind take notes. In the foreground, one student types on his laptop. His classmate to his left uses her electronic Braille note taker. The other kids in the classroom. Um, it's important that they accept this student as an equal classmate and learner um, and don't feel they need to babysit or take care of the student who is blind. Um, and that they, need, they also need to help support um, taking care of the technology that's in the classroom as well. Um, and, and I think creating that kind of environment is another thing that has to happen between the teacher of the visually impaired and the regular classroom teacher. So that the student who is a braille reader is allowed to learn and participate in class like any other kind of student. For the classroom teacher and the teacher that is impaired to um, work together to meet the needs of the student, um, the, uh, the first issue is the teaching philosophy. They have to both be on board with the same methods of teaching reading, and there is a wide range of those, and they all have their own unique patterns of how new words are presented and how they're integrated into stories and that kind of thing. So the two teachers need to be able to work together within that philosophy and those materials. Um, the, uh, um, the teacher of the visually impaired may do some pre-teaching of new vocabulary words because of how they're written in Braille. And so knowing exactly where they're going to be sharing a teacher's guide, that kind of thing, um, to be able to anticipate um, what skills the student's going to need in order to produce, to um, be productive in the next level. Fade to black.